Hello, my name is Mary Maxine Luber and I am the Patron Services Supervisor here at the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. With a wall of windows to the south and these beautiful stainless steel arches on the north side, our building's unique design is easily recognizable on the Kansas City skyline. And we're thrilled to be partnering with Scraps KC to bring you a special craft today inspired by the shape of the Kaufman Center. So let's go inside and get started. Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Christensen and I am the Education and Events Coordinator at Scraps KC. We are a local nonprofit creative reuse center and part of my job is taking things that maybe people have around their house that they don't use anymore and helping them find great, unique, creative ideas for reusing those things. So today we are going to make some bookends out of CDs and we were inspired by the beautiful architecture here at the Kaufman Center. And so I have several CDs here and these CDs um, obviously are were made to be recorded on, but you could use any CDs that you have. You could use old music CDs. Almost everyone has a big book of CDs laying around they don't know what to do with. So this is a really fun way to use those and display them. So we're going to use anywhere from like 13 to 22 CDs. It really can be customized to how you want it to look. Um, these CDs are really easy to use because they actually already had some lines on them that I'm using. But if they don't have lines, you can just use a ruler and you'll basically just, I did about every quarter inch, you'll do um, some different cuts. And so you can use a ruler to make a mark and then just draw a straight line across with your edge. And then sometimes it's helpful to score these with a utility knife. But these CDs actually work pretty well, just some heavy duty scissors, so you can cut them. So I'm just gonna cut these right along these lines actually that are already on the CD because it made it super simple for me. But like I said, you can measure and make them as deep or shallow as you want. And I'm basically just wanting to sort of create um, the feeling of the clamshell that we see here at the Kaufman Center if you drive by it's such an iconic part of Kansas City's skyline. So there's my next one. And I'm just gonna keep cutting all the way up. One, two, three. These bookends are really customizable to whatever skill level, age, um, however intricate you wanna get. You can make them really unique. You can make them really simply. You could even cover these in a fun paper or decorate them with washi tape, get the kids involved. So right now I'm making the biggest part of our bookend that is inspired by the Kaufman Center. And then I'll show you how to actually bend a CD and you'll be able to use it as a bookend. So I have other CDs here that I've already glued. I did two of each and I'm gonna add a third. So again, you could customize this. I'm doing three of each size. You could do five, you could do two, you could do one, just depending on how you want it to look. Um, <clears throat> you could also keep going and cut up further to make more levels. I'm gonna do four for this one. And then the only thing you wanna make sure you do is have this shiny part of the CD facing out on both sides. And that way you've got the same kind of finish on either side. And so I'm just gonna match all of mine up. And then I'm actually gonna use a glue called E6000, which is just a good, like it will bond plastic, all sorts of things. You could totally use hot glue for this. Um, I just happen to have this on hand. So it's a little bit of a stronger bond. And I'm just gonna use a really thin layer. The E6000 does take a little bit to dry, but that's actually kind of helpful for this project because we want to be able to sort of move them around. And then I'm just going to make sure all my edges line up. With hot glue, you have less time before it bonds. And so you need to kind of work a little faster, but the E6000 lets me kind of move things around and make sure they're where I like them. Go ahead and do this one. 
I have a little bit of glue there. I'm just going to let it dry so it'll pop off later. There's my third one. You want to do a nice thin layer so you don't have any gaps between your CDs. I'm just going to line up, make sure the bottom is lined up and all the edges are lined up. And I love the way the light here in Brandemeyer Hall is already catching all the iridescence there. So these would be really fun to have at the holidays. If you have lights up, it would really show off the iridescence of the CDs. So I'm actually going to let those dry for a few minutes while we make the base. So for that, I'm going to need just a normal candle. You could use a votive. You could use a tea light even. The only thing is you don't want your candle really far down in a piece of glass because the CD needs to actually sort of touch the top of the flame. So I'm going to light my candle here. And then this CD I'm going to bend in the middle. You could choose and measure and just draw a straight line of wherever you want it to bend. If you wanted it to bend down on this part, you could, but I'm going to bend it straight across the middle. And then I'm taking basically the line of where I want the CD to bend and I'm just going to pass it over the flame. And this takes a little bit of patience. Obviously, probably some adult supervision if you're working with kiddos but the edges of the CD are not getting hot. It's not hot on my fingers. And I'm just slowly passing it over the flame. And as it starts to warm, I'm just with my thumbs here, adding a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna to push too hard too fast or you'll break the CD. Just wanna keep passing it over, probably passing it over the flame 40 or 50 times. It takes a little while. This will create a little bit of soot on the bottom of the CD and it'll just wipe right off with a paper towel when you're finished. So I'll keep passing this over. I'm actually going to slow down a little bit. Sometimes you might see that your CD is bending in one spot more than the other and that's okay. You can just, if you need to just do this side to catch it up, you can. It's pretty pliable for a while once you're doing it. So this is starting to bend. I'm just going to keep going slowly. And then the thing that you want to pay attention to is that it's bending evenly on both sides. And then you also want to make sure that you get it at a nice 90 degree angle so that your bookend will stand up once you have it finished. Quite a bit. I'm going to add some on this side. We're getting really close. You'll kind of feel it. Once it starts bending, it gets pretty pliable and it'll keep bending the rest of the way pretty quickly after that. Just sort of getting it to that spot. So you can see I'm about at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to keep going until I'm at a nice 90 degree angle so that it will sit flat on my shelf. This is a fun way to make bookends for any theme. You could just cover the inside of the CD with scrapbook paper, or if you have special book pages that from an old book that you love, you could use that to cover it and have fun bookends to give as a gift. Since this does create soot and CDs are made of plastic, I'm going to suggest that you do this in a well-ventilated area. Just a big room like this is fine or outside even, or if you want to open a window, it really doesn't have a ton of fumes, but 
just to be safe. You probably don't want to do it in a small space. Okay, so I'm wiping off all the soot and you can see my seat actually cracked a little bit here because I was pressing too hard, but I think we can still glue that and it'll still work. So we're going to keep going with that. And if you needed to at any point, you could keep bending this. We're going to go with it like it is. I'll put my candle out and scoot that over to the side. So I'll show you the one that I've already finished. The best way to build it, your Kaufman Center, is flat so that your glue can dry totally. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down this way. And we just want to take our biggest pieces and put them in the back. So I'm going to set them up the right way. And I'm not going to put glue all over this CD because I just want it right here. So I'm going to start with my glue on my base so that I don't accidentally put too much glue on. And I'll lay that flat and press and hold it. And then I'm going to take, since this is the smaller piece, now I'm going to put my glue here because I don't want glue up here in the top part that's gonna peek over. And then you just wanna line these up so that they're centered. Looks even from every angle. And I'll put my next one on. This is where some glue dripped earlier, so I'm actually just going to spread that down here and it will be covered up by our next piece. And get that nice and centered. And then this is optional, but I just wanted to cover the holes in the middle of the CD so that it looked more like the Kaufman Center. So these are actually pieces that I cut off of the big pieces that I kept. And I'm just going to glue one to the front, like so. And once it's dry, I'll glue one to the back as well. And I can show you on this one how I covered that here. And then here is our Kaufman Center bookend. We want to see your Kaufman Center inspired masterpieces, so uh, post a photo on social media and tag the Kaufman Center and Scraps KC. Thanks so much for joining us today.